Okay, so in this video, I'm going to concentrate on just one very specific problem that I've come up against with Resolve 18. But the short of this is that it would appear that rather than fix an existing problem, it would appear that Blackmagic have just taken the option away completely. So obviously, if it's taken away, there's nothing to fix in that instance. However, it means that we are down on a particular option that we should have. Anyways, let me get into this and explain it. So at the moment, I've got a 10-bit 422 timeline, and I, I want to export this out but maintain the best possible quality I can. So to be clear right now, I'm in ProRes HQ. Uh, 422 so that's obviously 10 bit with 422 chroma subsampling now whilst obviously ProRes HQ and whatnot whilst they still are a compressed format they're, they're quite lightly compressed you know by comparison to an uncompressed picture however we are at the moment using an intra frame codec but when we export out to the likes of H.264 and H.265, for the best part, we're going to interframe there, which is why we get such like low bit rates and stuff and the way that, you know, the redundancy works within the temporal encoding and stuff like that. But during that process, we still want to maintain as much possible quality as we can. So having a 10-bit 422 output is preferable if your source is 10-bit 422. So a bit of background there now, let me get into this. So as we can see here, I've got QuickTime selected with H.265 as the codec. Now this same thing will happen if I go and select MP4 as the container, exact same thing. And I've got Use Hardware Acceleration if available. That's because I'm on a Mac here right now and I'm going to be using the hardware encoders on the Mac M1 and stuff, so the Apple Silicon encoding system. Okay, so if you come down here then, so on the output, for the profile, I've got main selected here. Now, although that's going to give me a good result, main is generally going to be an 8 bit 420 chroma subsample output. Now, that might be like good for certain things and whatnot, however, I don't want to use that. Uh, but also, we've got the option here of multi pass encode, which is really important. I'll explain a bit about that shortly. However, we can go to main 10 and get multi-pass encode, but main 10 just basically bumps up the bit depth to 10 bit, which is good because we want to try and match as best as possible the source. However, this will only do a 420 chroma subsample. So in the past, what I've been trying to do for certain encodes was to use main 422.10. And the reason why is because that will give us 10 bit and 422 chroma subsampling. So regardless of the fact that this is going to be a heavily like compressed, like, you know, interframe codec, it would still maintain 10 bit and 422 chroma subsampling, which is basically what you want to try and do to try and keep as close to your source as possible. However, in the past, you could select that. And then when you selected the two pass or the multi pass encode option, what would happen is that resolve would throw up like, you know, a warning and it wouldn't allow you to do it. The warning was very spurious as well because it didn't really seem to reflect anything that was going on in the timeline with what the warning was saying. So nonetheless, it was broke that function. However, now when you go to main 42210 and select that, as we can see, the option for multi-pass has just been completely taken away. So let me just show again here. So on main, we get multi-pass as the option. On main 10, we get multi-pass as the option for the encode. But as soon as you go to 4210 main, we don't get it anymore. Now, like I say, in the past, that had been an option, but when you selected it, it didn't work. Now, it would appear to me that what's happened here, rather than kind of like fix that problem, Blackmagic have kind of just took it off the table completely. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, what really is the big problem here? Well, the big problem is if you're kind of trying to get like, you know, your best kind of like lowest bit rates for your outputs and stuff, then a multi-pass encode is definitely going to give you like, you know, the best opportunity to do that because those initial read passes and whatnot, in this instance, it would have just been a single. So it would have been a two pass with this, an, an initial analysis pass and then the actual bit rate encode pass. In those instances, it does actually help. And also, one really cool thing that I've noticed since I've been using Resolve for like about six or seven months or so, it's progressively kind of gotten better with the Apple encoders and this option for doing the multi-pass uh, using anything to do with the Apple encoders 
just seems to give you some slightly better results and stuff, especially if bitrate is your concern or file size, more importantly. Yeah, so bottom line is here, yeah, we should have two pass for any of these options and we don't get it for 42210 bit when we're using the H.265 encoding here. So yeah, basically for me, it's a, it, it's a little bit of a disappointment to be honest, because rather than deal with the problem, it looks like it's just been taken away as an option, which really isn't such a great thing. And like I say, you know, because if you're dealing with 10 bit 422 in the timeline, you would like to maintain that as best as possible going further down the line. Anyways, yeah, I just thought I would bring this one to light and um, just in case anybody else was wondering if they'd noticed the same thing or if anybody in the future might have thought, oh, well, I'll start doing some multi-pass 422 10 bit with H265, which obviously now we can't get it as even an option, whether or not it's an option that doesn't work, we just don't have it anymore. Anyways, I'll leave it out there, I've put it out there, just see what other people think about that, and hopefully maybe Black Magic might give me a response to this, I'll post this on the forum. Anywho, I'm David Harry, thank you very much for watching this video, take care and goodbye now.